Hi guys, welcome to Old School Guys. Today we have a video in which we will tell you our thoughts on Moto. G, fine. Yeah. So without any further ado, let's get started. Yeah. So before that, I would like to tell you that Moto is always considered as a rookie on in the smartphone industry, and it's quite popular in its G series. As in India, it's quite popular because motor lovers are so many in India. After Xiaomi, motor lovers are because it provides in the stock ROM, and I love the stock ROM. Yeah, stock as well as they give a very good price, and they are good at very updates also. Yeah. Before it's totally over packaged the bank for the bus. Yeah, they have launched more Moto M because that was not good. They have used the MediaTek chipset in that. That was not good. So I don't know what to talk about Moto M. Let's go with the Moto G5 and G5 Plus. Moto G5 is sporting the 5-inch screen and sporting the 430 chipset, and it will be releasing in the March and I guess March 15th or so. Uh, date is not confirmed yet. It will be supporting the 5-inch screen. So 5-inch is kind of compact. Yeah. And the uh, brother will be supporting 5.2-inch screen. I don't know why they have this degraded from 5.5. But there, there's no, not much of a difference. The 5 and 5.5 it doesn't make a big difference because if you have a smartphone which is 5 inches, that's cool. Before uh, this 5 inches trend, there used to be a 4 inches trend. Then I remember, I remember the Samsung Galaxy phone which was about 2.5 or 3 inches. Yeah. I used to think that's a quite big phone. Wow, what a big phone we used to watch in that movies also, and. <laughs> He used to come to me and say, it's a replacement of a PC. Yeah, probably. We used to have so many good memories with that. And now it's kind of this much. I don't know. Is that a smartphone we would call? Then the trend came for 4 inches phone. Yeah, from 4 to 5, 5 to 5.5 5 is now quite common in the phone. And the phablet is around 6, 6.5 yeah. now. I guess. From the next time, they will be supporting 6 inches and 5.7 inch is becoming quite common now, 5.7 and 6. Yeah. So, yeah, that depends because the body to screen ratio should be there. Or else, if the bezels are quite large, that makes the phone large and it's difficult to handle in the pockets also, especially in India because we are always tight. So, this is uh, Moto G5 and Moto G5 Plus. There are nothing much drastic changes, just the processor they have changed. And there is uh, as usual 12 MP camera, 12 MP in the Moto G5 and uh, 13 MP in Moto G5. I mean 12 MP in Moto G5 Plus, 13 MP in Moto G5. I don't know why they have used that kind of scenario in the response. Maybe they would be have changed some kind of sensors in that. Yeah, maybe. Because Moto G5 Plus is bigger one and the G5 is a kind of younger one. Small brother. Yeah, small brother. So let's see if if it's launching, I mean if it's launching not, it's launching already in India in the March. And if possible we will be having a quick glance at it and we will gonna give you a review of it. Yeah. So until then this is was a quick opinions video on Moto G5 and G5 Plus. So guys, that's it about it. Until then, this is Wasim. This is Alda. We are watching Old School guys. Like the video if you like it. Hit the subscribe button if you have not done already and comment below. Would you be purchasing this phone? I guess Moto G4 has launched about 7 or 6 months ago, right? Yeah. And it's quite popular and uh, now they are launching now it's uh, so guys what your opinion on this launching so early so let's see comment down in the comments and hit the link button man we're gonna review up next time take care guys